Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe. Happy Tortured Poets Department release day. Well, I guess it depends where you are in the world. Me being in the States and not on East Coast time, the Tortured Poets Department will be coming out today, Thursday, April 18th. For me, I know for a lot of the rest of the world, it will be out Friday, April 19th. Wherever you are in the world, whenever you're going to be listening to this album, we've made it. We're here. We're getting the Taylor album. There is so much that we're going to be discussing over the course of the next few days, next week, once we've listened to the album, once it is out, once we have a chance to dissect it, all that stuff. But there's still some stuff to discuss leading in to the release. The first being that this album has leaked. It's right. That's right. The Tortured Poets Department has leaked. I sincerely hope that nobody watching this video right now has listened to the leaked version of this album, but it is prevalent. It's everywhere. I've been on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter over the last day or so, and people are listening to it. Um, it is definitely out there. Listen, this is, this is not a, a surprise. This happens all the time, especially with an artist like Taylor Swift, but this happens with other artists. And the reason for, for it is because the physical copies of the album, sometimes they get sent out a little bit early. They get in the hands of people a few hours, maybe a day, two days before the album is actually supposed to be released. And then these people take their physical version of the album and put it onto the internet for people to listen to. It is unfortunate, but it does happen. It's not something that is super uncommon, though it is really frustrating. And I'm sure disappointing, especially for someone like Taylor Swift, who really does care about album sales, who really does care about the number of people who listen to her music. And if you have a good chunk of people who have already listened to it prior to the real version coming out, it may affect your numbers. Now, to be fair, the Swifty army is fierce. We are large in number. And I don't think this will actually affect Taylor's numbers. I think she will still have incredible incredible album sales. I think she will have incredible Spotify, Apple music numbers. Like I don't think it's anything to worry about, but it is disappointing. It's unfortunate when you, you have set a date for when you want people to listen to your music. And unfortunately people get it before that date. It's just a bummer all around. Now I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I've never listened to leaked music in my entire life because unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. depends how you look at it. I have, I'm a human being, <laughs> but I am not listening to the Torture Poets Department until it is out for me on Spotify, which is my preferred place of listening to music um, for the rest of the world to hear. So I am I am holding strong. I will not be partaking in the listening of the leaked music. I'm also trying to avoid anybody's opinions or thoughts or commentary on these songs who maybe have listened to the leaked um, songs. Like I'm trying to very much ignore it because I really want to go into this album blind. I want to, I really want to form my own opinion and I want to experience these songs for the first time. I don't want to know what I'm getting before I listen. So anyway, it's unfortunate. It's a bummer, but if you can avoid the leaks, I mean, I've definitely seen a lot of Swifties reporting these leaked links they, they are on it. They are making sure that as few people hear these leaks as possible. But listen, we are, we are less than or maybe just right around 12 hours away before the album is coming out. Like we are in the home stretch. We are almost there. So just a few more hours and we will all get to enjoy the wonderful music of Miss Taylor Swift legally and on her time and the way that she would want us to all listen to the music. Um, but I should say our plan over here at a swift look for the next couple of days, I will be doing a tortured poets department reaction video, um, reacting to the album in real time. I'm going to be filming that tonight when the album comes out and hopefully crossing fingers, putting it out ASAP. So if you want to hear our reaction, my reaction to the new album, check that out first thing tomorrow morning. Once you have listened to the album, 
come back over here, give our reaction video a watch, see how I feel about every single song, lyric, everything. Um, we're gonna do that. We are also, I'm also going to be doing a music video breakdown this weekend once we have the music video out. And if Taylor, of course, announces anything else <laughs> over the next day or so, I mean, who knows? There's She could be doing so much. We'll definitely be on top of it. And then next week, we're, I mean, again, it's gonna be like Torture Poets Department reaction week, I suppose, in some ways. I'll give you my ranking of the album. We'll dive into each song. I mean, we're, there's so much that we're gonna do. So I've said this a thousand times, but if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you are a Taylor Swift fan and you love breaking down her lyrics, you love talking about her music, you love getting into the nitty gritty details of One Miss Taylor Allison Swift, then you have to subscribe to our channel because we will be putting out content left, right, center over the next handful of days, over the next handful of weeks, and you do not want to miss a thing. Speaking of surprises, I do wonder what other surprises we have in store because I feel like we have some other stuff coming our way. Like we know the album's coming, we know the music video is coming, but what else is coming? I just, Taylor always has something up her sleeve. And, and even if it's not extra music, there's just, there's going to be something else. And I keep going back to that whole number two, two o'clock thing that we've been seeing, right? The clocks being set at two in that video she shared with the music video announcement, the clock being set to two, two at the Spotify installation, her holding up the number two during her, um, Grammy's acceptance speech. There is something going on with the number two. And honestly, that's been what's keeping me up at night. That is that is what I can't quite crack because I know there's a reason for it, but what is the reason? There has to be something. Um, so again, if you have theories on that number two, please let me know. And if you if you are thinking or, or anticipate any specific surprises that are in store, please share those as well because like, will she be performing these songs live? Will she do like a Jimmy Fallon appearance? You know, will she go on SNL? Um, I mean, we know, I, I don't actually know if there's gonna be m much more left of SNL. Maybe Dua Lipa is the season finale. I don't know. But there's just, there's just a lot of unknowns left to be figured out. So I'll be waiting here with bated breath for what else is to come. And then just lastly, I wanted to just touch on, we have some more, cause you know, we're gonna be talking a lot about Joe Alwyn in the next few days, maybe Matt Healy. There's a lot of like Taylor's exes that we'll be focusing on, but we have gotten a little bit more insider information as to how Taylor feels about Mr. Travis Kelsey now that she is she's free to live her life. So in the latest issue of Us Weekly, um, this source said, quote, it's been so refreshing for Taylor not to feel the need to hide with Travis. He makes her feel safe and protected, like she has the freedom to be and act however she wants. This is a very pointed quote. Now it's, it's a source, it's Us Weekly, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But the juxtaposition, right, of what we've been told about her time with Joe versus what we have been told and what we've seen about her time with Travis, feeling like she has to keep every part of her life private, hidden, secluded with Joe, and now she's finally getting to live her life out loud as who she is with freedom with Travis. I think it'll be interesting over the next handful of weeks, like again, kind of doing that comparing and, and contrast with what we're hearing in the music in the Torture Poets Department versus what we are seeing of Taylor in real life with Travis. And I think, I wouldn't be surprised if she does a lot of stuff like out and about in the next couple of weeks as kind of like proof or showing like, hey, this is the person I, I want to be. I want to be the person you, you heard me sing about feeling like I was being hidden and like I was being um, secluded or like I was in prison or whatever she's gonna say. And then her now being very much like, this is who I actually am. The girl that wants to be outside, that wants to be public with her boyfriend, that wants to go to fun events, that wants to just like live life um, and not be hidden all the time. So I think that'll be an interesting thing to kind of dissect over the next handful of days and weeks as we lead back into her going on tour. And that's a whole other thing, which is once we hear the album, it's like, what songs is she gonna sing? Is she gonna add a whole section of her tour to do the Torture Poets Department? Like, is that gonna become a thing? I mean, there's just so much we're gonna have to um, unpack, you guys. It's gonna be 
it's gonna be mayhem, but I'm excited for it. I hope you are excited for it. And the next time we see each other, we're going to be listening to the Torture Poets Department. So I, for one, cannot wait. I hope you cannot wait. Again, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.